we've started yet another war with the Ottomans. Um, this one is going to be over very quickly compared to, well, especially the first one. The first one was a lot longer, it felt like. Pomerania's uh, adopted global trade. Conversion, conversion successful. We're getting down to low development. Still got a lot left though. Siege of Escador is over. We'll go and siege down Ilbasan. Informed that a diplomat from Ottomans has been discovered building a spy network. We want the siege of Kaffa. And we've occupied Ipsan. Let's bring these guys down to Mingrelia just to keep an eye on the Ottoman forces. I don't think they're going to... I don't know. They might attack into us. I think they've got... Like, we're the ones sieging down the fort, so they might attack. I can call Bohemia in. Apparently. We're now uh, behind time on tech. Native assimilation. Won another siege. Alright, I'm going to do a final bombardment. I think I'm going to wait until that siege is done before, and then piece them out. This is what I get for not uh, occupying everything in between. But, I don't know, I was focusing the forts, so... I mostly want to focus on the Greek stuff. I always forget about, uh, this province. Naxos. That's what it is. It's Naxos. Um... I'm just going to give it all over to Byzantium, I think. Mostly. It's all Albanian and Catholic. Oh no, one is Catholic. The rest are Orthodox. Let's go for that right now, I think. Also, try for these two. Alright, and as much gold as we can get. And war reparations? No. If we didn't take as much gold as that... I think a uh, lump sum would probably be best in our current situation. I 
I'm not sure how much overextension that's going to cause. Um, it's one overextension is one per development, right? I think it is. Um, better idea. Transfer all that back to me. And then we'll feed Byzantium slowly if we need to. Okay, so the money and Corfu. We're short a little bit. Um, Chios, maybe? They'll accept that. Or is that, is that Turkish? No, it's Greek. It is Greek. Looks good. And slow feed. So... Start with the Greek stuff. Corfu. Overextension is at 8. It actually tells me after each one, doesn't it? Uh, Euboea. Plovdiv. Tarnovo. Silistria. Oh, Chios. Chios is actually Greek as well. Uh, Moldavia, Kosovo, uh, no, that's one that I do want to give to them eventually. But all the other ones I want to keep. Um, 74. I could have just done this, uh, through the peace deal, couldn't I? It would have given them 90. But, uh, still. Why are we 
losing so much money right now? Screw it. Let's just do it. Maybe. Yeah, Warsaw has embraced it. It's crazy. It's a lot of money. Is it worth it? Who knows? Take this. Take it all. Um, and I think, like I said, trade ideas is probably the best way to go. Um, we have a new merchant. I think I'm actually going to try to steer the trade away from Krakow and up toward... Novgorod because that would probably be the better way to go I didn't even check to see if uh, that was the best uh, I didn't even check to see what my trade was before that We'll wait to revoke our embargo. Um, our idea cost should be really low right now. 320 because of the event we got and how much to demand diplomatic support so we'll grant them monopoly charters and then demand diplomatic support and take our first trade idea Get the leather cannon. Take these guys back up to Danzig. Uh, mothball the forts. Actually making a significant, uh, decent amount of money right now. Not sure if I would call it significant, but... Um, ooh. Oh no, okay, I need uh, trade ideas complete to get the more idea costs a reduction. But uh, that would have been cool if I could... Uh, get another 10% uh, down for a uh, trade idea group. Really, that's that's all the unrest I have right now. Yeah, I'll take the uh, the uh, inflation reduction guy. I'd get the trade guy too if I could. Uh, trader, I mean. Trade guy. Whatever. Um, go to Krakow. Hmm. 
And then there's two more armies. Or San Wisna. Okay, so truces with Crimean uh, Bukhar. That's five years on that one. And two years on that one. Let's send a diplomat to Bukhar then. To build a spy network. To claim more shit. Um, I think I do want the, uh, wait a minute, uh, let me see the trade map mode again. I think I do want the, uh, area of Georgia. Because that's in the Crimea node, and yeah, I that just looks like it's uh, it would be beneficial. Iron ore quality pro problems. get the note event every not every just too often um oh yeah Finland hates me because I changed their religion and they are converting I was hoping they would have had uh, religious ideas, but um, I don't know. It'll save me some conversion time, I think. When can I annex them? Sixteen twenty-nine. Still seven years away. Um, what does... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have an idle settle, or a colonist. What am I doing with him? Okay. Keep moving. Almost all of Siberia is, uh... Not almost all, but uh, we've almost reached the Pacific Ocean. It's the same opposes the air, and back to Zapodrad. Lost our military advisor. We'll go with the discipline, discipline girl. We've converted Stockholm. All right. Gain prestige from choosing offensive ideas early on. Can I convert like some of my other monarch points into diplo points? It's alright. Um, uh, 
convert to perm. Thirty is losing power. Should probably also start moving into into Tiberistan. Although I don't think I was going to say I don't think I want to take the Samarkand node, but that wouldn't be too bad to have. Although I don't know if uh, certain time constraints will allow me to go in and take it. I mean, I could. There's always. I could just go in and declare the like declare wars without any uh, regard for my uh, overextension or aggressive expansion. And honestly. This isn't a world conquest game, so I like I'm not solely going after everything. I've never actually done an E4 world conquest. Um not saying I won't try someday, but um I think I said when I started this campaign that I'm nowhere near the skill of uh some other people who play this on YouTube. Um, I should probably start moving my armies over to Bukhara. Yeah. Let's find a suitable place to take them for uh, supply limit wise. We're at 198 out of 200 force limit for a uh, potential for a large army uh, goal in the age uh, age goals. So it, is, it must be at least 90. Alright, um... We'll see if we can do that. Maybe not, but... Wait, right, I was looking at the provinces that would give me the best supply limit. Just sucks that I have to walk them all the way across. It's almost better to, it would almost be better to build a new army over here. But uh, I don't want to do that either. Besides, I kind of want to let Byzantium core their new stuff. I don't think they have enough points to core all of it. And that was the sound of our Swedish cores finishing, I think. We've renewed one of our loans again. Fabricate a claim on Bukhara. Nine, six, three, eighteen. They still allied with just John Poor? They are. We're sit sitting at 100 uh, power projection right now. Thanks to conquering provinces from the Ottomans and uh, 
eclipsing the Ottomans. Um. Yeah, do that. Gain some more, a uh, little bit more uh, absolutism. I don't even know if that if I've gained any from that. It's plus one for every twenty, right? Development. Put him in charge. Try to get the bigger army there faster. Wait, what? Lubeck fully occupied Brandenburg. I'm sure that's not going to cause any kind of Like, great upset among the Holy Roman... It really didn't, did it? They just ate all of Brandenburg, and not all of Brandenburg, but what they... Uh, what little was left of Brandenburg, and... I mean... That's fine. Wait until these guys are over here. The winter is killing these guys. Okay. So... Send a colonists up there. I need to be more diligent about my colonists, I think. Second trade idea. Another merchant. I'm going to try to rush through these idea through the trade ideas because of uh, the bonuses I have to lower idea costs right now. But another merchant should be helpful. Okay, we're moving most of that north, which is then going even more north. Um. That might be the way to go. It's not going to be a lot of money, but it'll be a little bit. A gold and a half will be a gold and a half, right? Or three gold. Just moving generally towards that direction. I do like trade ideas because it gives you more merchants than you know what to do with. Usually. Um, but our armies are over here. I'm going to wait for another claim, I think, before I go to war with Bukhar for the 
fourth or fifth time. I can't even remember how many wars I've had with them. Um, and I would like to go and uh, pick up more of the Samarkand down. Because a merchant there would be pretty nice too, I think. <laughs>